Hello, this is Amy Tolson. I'm the a and coordinator here at HCC, and I am doing this screencast to get you started graphing using Google Sheets. The first time you're going to have to graph using Google Sheets in a and is in the first GlowGerm assignment. So um, on Moodle, you will see a link to the hand washing assignment, and you're going to click on that link. When you click on that link, I want you to go to File, make a copy, and then right over copy of, put your last name. So now this is Tolson Glow Germ Assignment. Okay, so I have just made the Glow Germ Assignment that I am ultimately going to hand in to my instructor. Okay, now you have done this part collecting the data during class. This is the part where you actually need to um, fill out the answers and hand it in to your instructor. So the first question is, what was your hypothesis for activity two? And so you can either cut and paste what you did up here or type it in. Um, and the second part is to use course-wide data to create a graph using Google Sheets. So we are going to go to the data sheet that you filled out in class. Now this data sheet, you are not allowed to edit. This is only for instructors to edit. Um, so in class, you put your initials here and you put the percentage of hand of your hands that was covered with glow germ, 0, 5, 10, 15, so on and so forth, all the way to 60 seconds. Um, what you're going to need to do now is make a copy once again so you have a working copy of this spreadsheet. And so I actually just copied over one of my former classes spreadsheet so you could see what this working copy looks like. Now I have all these students and I have their data points and notice they were very good. None of them left any of these points blank. If you leave these zeros blank, you're going to artificially inflate your averages, which will be down here momentarily. So first you want to look at your data and you want to make sure that all the columns are filled. The next thing you want to do is you want to highlight the first column of data. So don't include the time, just the data. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to push the shift key down. I'm going to down, go down here and I'm going to click on that one. So that selects this entire column of data points. I'm going to go over here and click on average. And then I hit return. And I have just averaged this column. And that took me all of about five seconds. But I can do the rest of these in about the same time that it took me to do this column. I'm going to click on this cell. I'm going to go to this corner and wait until it turns into the plus sign. And then I'm going to pull it across. I have just averaged each of these columns. Okay. And as we all know, we don't want to look at these individual data points. They don't tell the story. It's the averages that tell the story. Right. So now that I have the averages, I don't need all these individual subjects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these rows. Highlight these rows. So I clicked on four. I'm hitting shift. And then I'm going to come down here. And then I'm going to right click and click hide rows. So now I have just the rows that I'm interested in. And what I want to do now is I want to create a graph with these rows. So I'm going to highlight these two rows, so the time and the percent coverage. And I'm going to click on this insert chart button. And look at that. I have just made my chart. It turns out that a scatter plot is exactly what I need to show the averages of my data over time. OK, now I need to um, change, I just need to add some titles, correct this one down here, and give a nice title to the graph. You see over here, um, there are options where I could switch columns and rows. That was not very helpful, right? This does not tell me any more or any really information. So I'm going to go back to over here. It's important that you know these, though, because sometimes you have to um, play with your data a little bit over there. So I have, ooh, 
<laughs> that doesn't work either. All right, so I have my nice graph, but now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to customize it and I'm going to change the chart title. Uh, uh, let's actually start with the horizontal axis. So the horizontal axis is it's a 0, 20, 40, 60. So if I think about this, it has to be the time. So time washing and then I'm going to put the units in parentheses. You always need to have units. If you don't have units, you have no idea. Was this person washing their hands for 60 hours? Um, or was it 60 seconds or 60 minutes? Okay. So that is done. Now I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go to the vertical axis. And the vertical axis is going to be percent of um, hand surface covered by flow germ. Okay, so we have my axes are have nice titles. Then my chart title. And my chart title has to tell the story. And so what this graph is showing is the amount of glow germ that's left on the hands at five second intervals of washing. Okay, so um, uh, here, uh, let's see, um, percent of hand surface covered by glow germ. after washing or at um surface cover glow germ let's see percent of hand surface covered by glow germ um after washing at five second intervals So that's not my best title, but that's a pretty good title. It tells you exactly what you're looking at. You understand that that you're seeing a significant decrease really just in the first um, five seconds. Um, and that decrease continues over time until it reaches zero. So now that we have this graph, and if we're being about it we probably want to call it graph one we usually label and number each graph and figure in a scientific report um, so we're going to go over here we're going to go to copy chart and then i'm going to go to my assignment and i'm going to paste my chart and i'm going to paste it unlinked um, and look at that i have this beautiful graph and it really didn't take me very long to do it um, if I wasn't explaining it to you, it would take me less than a minute to put this together. Um, you can, of course, change things a little bit. So one thing that I might do is make the font a little bit smaller. Um, and because this is unlinked, I'm actually going to have to copy it again. Let's see. Okay. And paste. All right. So I made the font smaller so it goes across one. Um, in one line but there's all sorts of little tweaks you can do you can also take that legend out uh, do, 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 do. all right took out the legend so as you see there's all sorts of modifications that you can do but this gives you a beautiful graph with not much effort um, if you have questions please talk to your instructors or feel free to email me at a tolson a t o u l s o n at hcc.edu. Thank you so much.